Today on The Pitch, we will be digging into the virtues of AC coupling larger solar plus storage systems with Brett Henning, product manager at SMA America, and Corey Austin, account manager at DynaPower. So SMA and DynaPower uh, have teamed up quite a bit to come up with solar plus storage solutions in the CNI and uh, large scale uh, customer segments. Um, and we're going to be getting into that. But first, I guess I wanted you to focus individually on the roles that SMA and DynaPower in, uh, play in the storage segment right now. So SMA, uh, as many of the viewers may already know, is uh, we've been around in the PV industry for uh, many, many years and have over uh, 85 gigawatts of uh, solar uh, inverters installed in residential, commercial and utility scale applications. Uh, we've, we've been involved in storage for just about the same amount of time. Um, and we have over two gigawatts of uh, battery inverted uh, power out in the market. And again, in uh, residential, commercial, and utility scale. And uh, in, uh, in a couple of spaces, we've uh, teamed up with DynaPower to uh, put together uh, solutions that we think are optimal for our customers. Great. And uh, my name's Corey Austin with DynaPower. DynaPower has been around since 1963, and we've been building power conversion equipment for over 55 years. Our energy storage group was officially created in 2007. And initially, we were focused on utility, CNI, and microgrid use cases and building the best power um, converters for those. And more recently, developed the uh, first to market DC to DC converter and have been offering fully integrated solutions as well. The ESA conference is coming up August 24th through the 27th. And it's being hosted virtually this year uh, by the Energy Storage Association, of course. So what will the partnered solutions be that you're showcasing? So we're excited to be offering some large scale distributed generation PV plus storage solutions using DynaPower's AC coupled battery energy storage solution and SMA's Peak 3 PV inverters. We will also be co-hosting a PV plus storage panel featuring SMA's Peak 3 and DynaPower's um, battery storage solution. What customer groups and segments are we talking about here with the systems that you're going to be showcasing? As Corey said, we're, we're targeting the, the large scale distributed generation, large scale DG um, marketplace. And you know, the customer segment for, for those types of applications is, is pretty varied. Um, we're seeing a lot of interest from municipal entities. Uh, uh, for instance, water treatment facilities uh, are a very common uh, application for uh, these large scale PV plus storage uh, systems. We're also seeing interest from schools and school districts that may be building, you know, large systems uh, for virtual net metering of their different facilities. Uh, and of course, large commercial facilities and large agricultural processing facilities uh, that may be using aggregate net metering. And uh, lastly, also, uh, uh, there's some community solar programs out there that now have uh, storage adders. Um, for uh, their incentives. And uh, this is a, a great space for, for this solution as well. So we're seeing a broad spectrum of customers and, uh, and also a, a broad uh, regional interest. So it's, it's really a vibrant market and uh, we see a lot of potential here. Okay, so let's break down the value streams a little bit here if we can of PV plus storage at this scale. Um, Cause there's a lot of different ways to rank that value stack. So Corey, I guess, could you walk me through what some of the value propositions are and maybe how you do rank them in terms of customer importance? Yeah, so every customer's needs are different. So I'm sure that my list might vary for others, but the main way we stack them up is demand charge reduction, energy time shifting, resiliency and backup, and microgrids. And then for customers that are interested in market participation, DynaPower has economic dispatch control partners in each of the ISO regions as well. <clears throat> so SMA and DynaPower, you know, you offer a mature DC coupled PV solution, um, but I really wanted to focus on that AC coupled solution that you mentioned earlier today, um, because there is a different value proposition with an AC coupled system. So I guess, can you explain what I mean by that? Um, what are the additional revenue sources and ancillary services? You're correct that DynaPower and SMA have teamed up in multiple segments to provide both AC and DC coupled solutions. But really here we're talking about the, the Peak 3 inverter um, from SMA and DynaPower's AC coupled battery storage systems. So what we're 
um, looking at for benefits, are there's independent control of the storage and PV assets that you get with an AC coupled solution that aren't available with a DC coupling. Also the ability to locationally consolidate your storage. Um, there's initial deployment and augmentation flexibility increasing with the AC coupled, as well as um, ITC qualifications that might not be accessible to all of the DC coupled solutions. So ultimately, we're looking to optimize our PV plus storage without a concern for technical dependence. And not only that, but you can trust that you'll be working with two of the industry's technology leaders who have proven their partnership and integration capabilities. Yeah, and I'll add on here uh, that uh, there's been a couple of mentions of uh, additional revenue streams and market participation. And you know, what we're talking about there is uh, you know, a customer taking a, a, a PV plus storage system and, and more than just offsetting um, their electric bill, the, using that PV plus storage system to participate in utility sponsored grid support programs like demand response or frequency response where the uh, customer can actually get paid by the utility for providing services to the grid. I did have one other question come to mind, you know, when thinking about uh, the variety of segments and the different value propositions, where across the country are you seeing the uh, a AC coupled larger scale solar plus storage solutions. And do you see that shifting to different markets uh, going forward? It really is uh, broad based uh, what we're seeing. Um, there's certainly, there are certain markets where things like demand charge reduction are particularly valuable. Uh, for instance, here in California where I'm based. Um, but it, we, we're seeing customers uh, in the Southeast um, that are making taking advantage of demand charge reduction. Uh, we're seeing uh, customers in in the Northeast and the Midwest, uh, and it's it's really encouraging to see that we're not so much dependent on one or two specific state markets any longer. We're really starting to see uh, uh, wide adoption uh, across the uh, the the U.S. and North America. Like a segment like schools, for example, that you highlighted, is mm -hmm. that countrywide or is that have a, a regional component? Well, as I said, it's it's very uh, dependent on uh, the location in terms of what particular use case they're interested in uh, and what value that might have. So certainly a, 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 a school or a business here in California. Uh, is going to be looking uh, very closely at uh, demand charges, and and there's a high value to uh, managing those demand charges. Uh, but uh, again, uh, you know, we hear from uh, businesses, schools, municipal entities um, uh, all over the U.S. that are some are looking at demand charge management. Uh, another might be looking at uh, uh, time shifting for time of use, uh, and some others are looking for resiliency and 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 backup applications. Uh, so it's it, it's it is case by case and location by location, but the the good news is, um, it's it's not isolated to just one or two uh, regions of the country. If I could add something to that as well, it's certainly that PV on its own can support some of those use cases, but it's a, it's made more reliable um, when you add storage to a PV project for any of those particular use cases. And same thing goes for storage. If there was a standalone storage site, you don't get as many benefits as if you had a storage site that also included PV. I guess, can you highlight one or two things that are specific about what you your partnership is bringing to the table that is maybe differentiating you in the market versus other competing solutions? Yeah, uh, so as, as Corey uh, mentioned uh, back at the beginning in the introductions, uh, you know, one of the key things is, you know, S SMA and Dynapower are, are both leaders in, in our respective uh, technology markets. And so I think by working with, uh, with our solutions, you, you know you're getting uh, two proven solutions and two companies that have worked together and can continue to work together to ensure that uh, you get a, uh, a well-integrated uh, functional system. Um, the uh, other advantage of, of an AC coupled solution in general uh, and working with uh, two market leaders like SMA and Dynapower is that you are able to optimize your system uh, independently. So you can, you can have the, the most optimal, cost optimal 
uh, PV system with the best energy harvest that you can get from renew renewable energy, while at the same time uh, having the, the, the most capable and functional uh, energy storage system to go along with that. As part of our ESA presentation, we'll be featuring an example project that are using our respective technologies. And one of the benefits of that project is the PV inverters are literally located within feet of the battery storage systems. So from an ongoing maintenance perspective, you have a sort of energy hub on the site that makes it very easy for both installation as well as maintenance. And so that is something unique that SMA brings to the table as far as an installation perspective. And DynaPower's inverter capabilities have been a, a technological advancement over others for many years. And we've been first to market with multiple use case opportunities and control capabilities. Uh, that's something else that we can bring to the table as well as providing the top level controls in a space where others may need to bring in a third party controller that might have some ongoing um, software fees. And with the DynaPower and SMA solution, you can have DynaPower provide your top level controller to, to manage the site. If you need market participation, as I mentioned, we do have control partners that are capable of doing dispatch. But if it's simply PV plus storage um, for some generic use cases, that's something DynaPower can provide controls for. Uh, we will be hosting, uh, in addition to each of our companies having a, a virtual booth in the at the conference, uh, Corey and I will be participating in a uh, virtual panel where we'll present more uh, in-depth information about the uh, SMA and DynaPower AC coupled PV plus storage solutions. And we'll be joined by uh, our, our customer Today's Power who, uh, yes, installed the system that Corey was speaking about earlier. Um, and we'll give a, a very, uh, very interesting overview of that project um, uh, to show how our, our solutions have worked together to provide a unique solution to their customers. Well, great. Uh, thanks, Brett. Thanks, Corey, for joining us today. Uh, everyone else out there, you can look for SMA and DynaPower at the virtual ESA this year at energystorage.org or their respective websites that you can find at the bottom of this video. And when you're down there, please hit that subscribe button. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs>